Alright, so what's going on on my viewers, my new welcome back to a brand new video on the channel and if you can not tell by the title on the thumbnail already, today I'm going to be showing you how to make slash spectator or like how to turn people into spectator or like just how to make a spectator on Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So these commands are pretty simple, um, these are probably elsewhere on YouTube, I have no idea if they are, um, but either way I thought I'd make a video today as I'm trying to cover all commands on my channel. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to show you how it works and then I'll show you the commands. This chest is just full of all the items um, that were in my inventory um, as it was just um, as I have it to set up slash clear, which you'll see in a second. Um, so I, um, so I don't want to lose all that stuff, so just ignore that chest. So I'm going to put a few stuff in my inventory here just because why not. And then I'm going to then tag myself with spectator. And you can see the Mayfly ability has been granted to you. You can see that I have strength, regeneration, resistance, and invisibility. You can see in the bottom of my screen it says you are a spectator. And I am able to fly around. I'm also in adventure mode. You can't actually hear me trying to hit here. But I am trying to hit stuff. Like you can hear my RT go in there. Um, I am trying to hit stuff there. But I am in game mode A, so I am not able to do this. It's a very nice command, very easy to command uh, command to do, sorry. Obviously, if there is anything I missed, please let me know um, down below if there's any like commands um, that you think I should have included in this. Um, but I have just kind of covered the general um, idea around it. So I'm going to change myself. I'm going to remove my spectator tag here, and then I'm going to change myself back into game mode C. And then I'm going to show you the commands. So it's very simple. Um, this one here, you can place wherever you want. I'll get to that after, um, but the commands are very um, like simple and they're a very nice idea. So the first one here is a repeat on condition is active command, and what it's doing is it's slash effect at a tag equals spectator. So anyone with the tag of spectator is giving them the effect. Invisibility one two five five true. So because it's repeat on condition is active, it will be constantly giving them invisibility two five five for one second. And it's only doing it to the people with the tag of spectator. This is true because it is making it happen constantly. Um, without, with, like, uh, sorry, this is true because it's then hiding the particles. Sorry, um, it's just I got a notification, so it kind of distracted me there. Um, uh, you make it true, so you hide the particles. So obviously, if this wasn't true here, I'll quickly take off true and I'll give myself the tag of spectator. You can see there's particles. I'm not on it. Oh, my controller keeps disconnecting. Um, you can obviously see there's particles there. And we don't want the particles to be shown, so what we do is we make it true, um, so that this won't happen, and it's just a lot better. Um, so that's the that's the invisibility one. The exact same thing you do. Repeat on condition is active. This is for strength now. It's slash effect at all with the tag of spectator, and and it gives them strength one two five five. So it's giving them strength two five five. The reason you do this, you're probably wondering, wait, if they have strength, would that mean that they're able to one hit players? No, strength two five five stops it and makes it so you can't actually hit other players or other mobs so strength 255 literally make like it's basically like slash game or pvp false for a certain player which isn't actually in the game perfect and it makes it so you're not able to hit people and then if i uh the, another effect here is repeat on control is active and a slash effect at all with the target spectator once again and then resistance one two five five true this is just in case they get hit obviously you might not have to include all these commands um i've just included them to be safe and to kind of show everything you can possibly do but what this will do is it will just give them resistance um one two five five so it's giving them resistance for one second but uh two five five which is the max you can go and is constantly giving it to them and then the final one up here is the exact same thing, but it's regeneration instead. So you're probably wondering what this bit here is and why is it done like this and not repeat like the rest of them. This one here is an impulse on conditional needs redstone command and a slash ability at all with a tag of spectator. And then it's a mayfly true. So what this is doing is everyone who has a tag of spectator is then giving them the ability of mayfly true. Um... The reason this is an impulse one and not repeat on condition is active is because this constantly spams your chat. And you're probably wondering if someone is a spectator um, and someone else like gets again, isn't it going to show for them? Yes, it will. However, you can make it so this happens with the tag of spectator, but without the tag of spec. Uh, and then obviously when they are granted it, then it gives everyone without the tag of spectator the tag of spec. And this, um, so what what that does is it makes it so it only happens to people who have the who are just getting the tag of spectator. Obviously, if you want me to, I can write that in the comments down below. 
um, of what I mean there, but that is completely your choice. What this is doing is just because just we don't want it spamming the chat, like the slash ban command, if you watched that, that one is the mute one. This is just giving them the ability of Mayfly True, so they are able to fly around like you saw when I was in Adventure. This one here is a repeat on case always active command and a slash clear at all tag equals spectator. So what this is doing is anyone with the tag of spectator, obviously you can make this tag smaller, I've just done this for the video. Everyone with the tag of spectator is just constantly clearing them of anything they have near them, sorry, just in case they accidentally pick up something that they shouldn't have, um, it will constantly clear them. Obviously you can make it so that inventory is constantly filled with barrier blocks, but that'll take what, like 30 odd commands. Um, so I wouldn't recommend doing that. Or you can have it just like slash give them like, I don't know. 3200 barrier blocks whatever it is to fill an inventory with stacks of 64 constantly so they're not able to like chuck stuff out or like pick um stuff up sorry but that is obviously your choice like i said that is that could fill this slot here but i don't want to do it because i do believe this makes the game like so i'm going to recommend it that's completely your choice this one here is a repeat unconditional is active command also they're all repeat unconditional is active right and what this is doing is slash game mode a at all tag all spectators so everyone with the tag of spectator is just constantly giving them game mode a like ban come on it constantly gives them game mode a if they have if they have the tag of ban this is constantly giving them game mode a if they have the tag of spectator meaning they can't break blocks etc and they can't just mess about with the game Obviously with this spectator, because it's not like completely original, obviously there's two more commands, I'll get to them in a second. Because this isn't like completely like Java edition or like any other Minecraft edition. You can't have spectator make it so people can't get hit by arrows, etc. So you can still kind of troll. Um, so obviously you could just make this so they're like this. Oh, bloody hell. Um, but it only happens when they're in a certain area maybe. Uh, maybe like you stop them from being able to access a certain area on the map. Honestly, this, this controller is annoying because it's a new plugged in wire one, so it is very annoying. So this repeat unconditional is active command here is slash type. So at the bottom of your screen, you could see that it constantly said you are spectator. This is a slash title at all with the tag of spectator. So once again, with the tag is testing if they have the tag of spectator, and it's just action bar and it's just bold and it's you are a spectator. So what this is doing is it's just constantly showing at the bottom of the screen that they're a spectator. For some bizarre reason, even with taking area, if you go too far away from this command block, it will stop showing. So obviously you can make it so your map big etc or you could just have these kind of planted around the map um so that um like people can't get out the radius of it and it constantly shows they're a spectator the rest of the command should work as long as you have ticking area set up and this repeat on condition result if command is just slash effect that all with the tag of spectator once again and it's giving them saturation of one two five five true so as it's doing is saturation is just a command so it, you don't have to eat um, so as you can see my hunger was constantly filling every time it went down by half a thing because I've got saturations that means I don't have to eat at all and it's just constantly like feeding my hunger I guess you could call it. Um, I realized I'm not wearing my skin today um, I, it's because I was just I recorded a cube craft video um, and they don't let you use your skin and it just kind of glitched out so I thought ah there's no point changing it let's just get the video done with the addict skin. Obviously because this is close to two commands that haven't come out yet there's little spoilers for what may be coming in the future. Um, I'm not sure if that one's going to come out first or not there, um, obviously you'll know by the channel, um, because um, because I need to find someone to record it with, and if, you, if it hasn't come out then hint hint, and if it has then I just like an idiot. Um, but yeah, that's about it for the video guys, I hope you did all enjoy, if you did don't forget that like button is very very appreciated i obviously try hard to make these kind of videos for you guys so it'd be very very appreciated if you showed the support back i mean obviously you don't have to if you don't like the video let me know why um so i can try my best to improve and produce the best quality content and make you start liking my videos if you're new around here don't forget to subscribe it's very very appreciated once again it lets me know that you're enjoying the channel so it's just subscribing for the content and liking this kind of content so, and it also just motivates me to do more and you can join the insane army uh, hit the notification bell so you don't miss an upload. I upload at 7.45pm GMT whenever I do upload a video. So definitely, definitely don't know my sign out. I'll try my best to upload some very good commands for all of you. Um, so just make sure you don't miss any of them. I do commands every two days and I do gameplay every other two days. And all the videos I make, I think they're at a pretty good standard. Comment down below what you want to see next, what you thought of the video. Any other ideas for videos you'd like to see on the channel, let me know down below and I will try my best to make them. Obviously, if it's a command block video, then comment in a command block video. If it's just a different Minecraft gameplay video you want to see, let me know down below. Or if it's just a different game you want to see me uh, play in general, let me know down below with a reason. Don't just comment in the game, please. Let me know why you want to see me play it, and I will possibly make it for you. Um, but yeah, thank you all for watching. Have a great day for whenever you're watching this. Stay safe. I'll see you on the next video. Have a good one, and goodbye.